Hey guys, this morning. Good morning. Um, today we'll be talking about the trigon of the bladder. All right, uh, a very important area in the bladder called the trigon. Okay, urinary trigon. I could say that it is called tri. Okay, trigon, triangle. Okay, this is just for you to know that the trigon is just like a triangle. It has three parts. Okay, those parts we'll be talking about them. I'll be giving names to them. Okay. So that's it guys and um, this is the MBBS Niger, they will be talking about the trigon, our focus is this called the trigon of the bladder. Alright, so basically guys, um, have a view of the trigon again before we proceed, okay? This triangular area here is actually what we call the trigon of the bladder. So the trigon is a triangular inner wall, okay, of the urinary bladder between the openings of the urethra and the ureter okay uh, the ureter has two openings in the bladder okay so these two openings when you join them they are forming the base of the trigon while the opening of the urethra which is in the front which is just one when you join uh the ureter openings okay to the urethra okay that's forming the apex of the trigon now let me explain so this is one opening of the ureter. This is another opening of the ureter, of the ureter. Okay. When you join it, that's the base of the triangle. Okay. So this is the opening of the internal ureteral orifice. Okay. When you join here to here, join here to here. Okay. They are forming the apex of the trigon of the bladder. Okay. So unlike the remainder, so why do we study this area? Okay. That's what we are going to talk about. Unlike the remainder of the urinary bladder wall, which is coarsely trabeculated by crisscross uh, muscle fibers, the mucosa in the trigon is smooth due to the attachment of the muscular coat. Okay, so you could just you could see it. I see a lot of twist, 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 all in the muscles of the bladder. But when you are coming to the trigon, can you see how smooth the muscle there is? Okay, it's because of the attachment of the muscular coat. All right. So now let's talk about the angles of the char of of the trigon. Now we'll be using this image to illustrate everything we are talking here. So the three angles of the trigon are the two ureteric orifices, superolaterally, superiorly, but laterally. Okay, and the internal ureter orifice inferiorly okay so this is the uh, ureteric orifice okay this is it i could see that i have one here you have one here so coming down here we have the internal ureteral orifice that's the opening of the ureter into the bladder okay then this side here is forming the base if you connect like this connect like this they are forming the apex of the trigon okay and note this name. The line that connects this and this is called the interureteric bridge reach or the bar of Masia. Okay? So I won't go back there again. You guys already have enough knowledge. So the trigon does not distend as the bladder feels. Okay? Now I'm talking about the application of that uh, special smooth muscle that I was telling you guys, okay? It does not distend as the bladder fills up, okay? Um, it apex is directed downwards, okay? I told you guys connecting those ureteric orifices to, uh, to the internal urethra orifice, okay? That's the apex and it is downward, okay? The base is up. So it has its base formed by the interureteric ridge or the bar of Messia. I already told you guys, the line that is joining those two ureteric orifices is called the interureteric ridge or the bar of Messia. Okay? So guys, that's just it about the trigon of the bladder. Okay? And see you guys in the next pelvic lecture. Bye for now.